Welcome back everyone to the MAC Team Builder Dynasty. We have Southern Michigan against San Jose State. Now, if you guys remember in our intro video, I used San Jose State as an example for a team that you might be able to beat and unlock the state of California. If you win a game on the road, you unlock that state for recruiting. And we're in this situation where you might be pretty competitive here and you might get the state of California, the holy grail of recruiting. <laughs> it would be absolutely huge if we were able to do that because we've been basically just stuck inside of our region, our Midwest region of Michigan, Ohio, Wisconsin, Minnesota. So being able to branch out to California, being able to recruit just opens up more opportunities. But third down and 16, how in the world did Ryan Patrick make that catch? He was the original glitch. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. <laughs> Third good, down and 10 catch. here. Here's a pass going to be thrown to the end zone, incomplete. And you know what? We're going full stop Dan Campbell right here. We're no, going for Dan it. Campbell. Fourth and 10, no field goal F here. F it. Ryan Patrick, first down, 15 yards. We convert. Big time game. Little play action here on first and goal, and Bailey Verlees going to fire into the end zone. Touchdown, Blake Van Poppen. How was that not intercepted? How in the world did that cornerback not make a play? Should have been an INT. The guy's right there. Hello. Hello. Big time hit as well. Second down and 10 here. We've got Woods dropping back, and he's going to try to take off and run for it. But third down and 12 at this point after a sack by Sherrod Johnson. He's been here a little bit. Was one of our bigger recruits. And I say bigger, but one stars. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> we do get a stop on defense here. Third down and six, and Bailey Verlees going to fire here to the out route. That's Blake Van Poppet for five. We got a fourth and one situation. We're going for it again. Be aggressive, man. Be aggressive. And Bailey Verlees doesn't get it. I thought he had it. It was only fourth and inches. Doesn't count. Arsenal with a huge run. It's going to be Segrist making the tackle. A big hit as well, but doesn't stop him from a big time gain second down and goal and another big hit by may softly take one more look at this hit boom the lesser of the may softly brothers oh wow that's that's painful. well he's the lowest rated one so who's the lesser of us yet to be <laughs> determined we'll determine that in game plan we'll guess, determine right? that at the end of our lives yeah right oh so <laughs> Second out and 10 here, pass completed here to Downs, making some nice catches. Good throws by Bailey, released to the outside as well. But nobody open here. Yeah, I don't care anymore. We're getting that state of California. I don't care. That's fine. I'm running for this thing. 14 to 7 after that touchdown to Bailey, release. Here's a pass on third down and three, Patrick Burrell. Almost. The INT could have been a pick six, but it's a field goal regardless for San Jose State. And, oh, that's a risky throw, but David Jones making the catch on the Seattle route. It's one of my favorite routes. Mm. My, my favorite plays, not routes. Here's David Jones again. Nice pass completed to the sidelines. Here's Timmy Klink getting some love. Touchdown for the patron. Timmy Klink with the score. And now it's 21-10 here, San Jose State maybe setting up for a Hail Mary, kind of. Lewis going to go out of bounds. It'll be a long field goal attempt. Whew. And he made it. Yeah. Huge kick. Big time kick from a little the, guy. Yeah, the gloved kicker. I don't know what the gloves do for you, but whatever makes you comfortable. Whatever makes you happy. Arsenault busting off some tackles, but not going to miss this one. He's going to go down for two yards. That's Marcus Marshall with the TFL. Second down and 12. We're bringing some pressure here. Looks like they're trying to go with, I don't know, maybe a screen down there, down low, but Sherrod Johnson's going to sack Woods. Third and 17. We'll see what they've got cooking. Got up their sleeves. Woods is going to fire off his oh. back foot here to Ross, and that's going nowhere. Look at this defense, man. Backwards. We've been pushing San Jose backwards. This entire half, I mean, this entire game, we're in the third quarter. Bailey release throws the INT, and we're only up eight. That's not a giveaway that's defensive line that you need. Drops him back in uh, coverage. May softly with a miss. He Segrist. missed the torpedo strike. Yep. yep. And Underhill tackles. San Jose State, opportunity to tie. Arsenal scores. Go for two here, probably late third. Let's go for it. Spartans. Wow. Convert. It's a 
great play. You know, I tip the cap here. But another turnover. Hey, they busted Seattle. They, they did. They figured you out. They did. The AI, the AI got to me this time, guys. And uh, that's going to be a pick. But good job tackling him to make sure that's not a pick six. Oh. But that's not going to matter because no. Ross is gone. Marcus Marshall can't make the tackle. And just like that... San Jose State's got the lead. It's They're unfortunate here. Absolutely falling apart. Southern Michigan, game on the line. Fourth and inches. Let's go for it. <clears throat> Orlando Glover, got the it. power back. Got it. Now, this is really risky, that fourth and inches, because it's in our back. It's in our side of the yeah, field. So you pretty much had to, the way your defense oh. is going. <laughs> That's a desperation throw right there. Third down and three at this point. We got that first down earlier, but here we go. Bailey release rolling out. Going to scramble to the pylon. Touchdown, Southern Michigan. Way to go there, Bailey. Way to take the reins of this football team. Yeah, baby. Tied this thing up. I thought about going for two here. Don't do that because it's pointless. I want it's just just tie the game up. You do, you do that, you You're lose. Not that aggressive, are you? No. First and ten, May softly can't make the tackle, and it, that's just a desperation tackle at this point. Marcus Marshall. Marshall score. No, get out of bounds. We're gonna hit you. We're gonna hit you hard. But you know what? The CPU, yeah, the CPU doesn't want to like. They're stupid. They're not calling timeouts. They're not doing anything. They're not. I'm not calling timeouts. Maybe you should think about it here. Second and goal, Woods. Scrambling. I let him in. Touchdown. I let him in at that point. Because at this point, outside of a minute, I'm like, yeah, they're just going to drain the clock on us here. So let him score. It's exactly what we did at that point. But Baylor release is going to get a drop here, unfortunately. And there's nothing open downfield. Absolutely nothing. Second down and 10. He's going to get two. Third down and eight. 19 seconds left to go. Verlease dropping back. He's got to find back. somebody open. That's Nico Billups. The quarterback? The quarterback's getting in on wide receiver What's he plays. Doing out there? 12 seconds. Oh, what a throw. Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> he goes out of bounds. We got ran it we in. Got, I know, I know. We got two timeouts, though. It's all right. Nine seconds. Release. Complete in the end zone. That's Orlando Glover. Touchdown. We're, we might be going to overtime. Go for, two. Go for two. No. Heck no. But... Yes, exactly. I should have scored. I thought the guy was going to tackle me. I didn't want to fumble it either because that, that, that can happen. If you start diving for the end zone and stuff, that can easily happen. But, oh, no! We got a pick! One second left. You don't have time to drop down. Let's go. Let's spin move. Pitch it. Get to the end zone. Oh. Would that have been epic or what? A pick six to end the game? Oh, my gosh. Man. I was I was out of my chair when that happened. I'm like, oh, my God. So you are going to start on defense here in overtime. Must win game for SMU. Mm -hmm. And they're going to take it in. Yep. Just like Adrian Peterson in that 2006 Fiesta Bowl. Oh, my God. You remember that, Boise State? <laughs> I, well, yeah. first play, they handed off Peterson and he went to the end zone. Release. Roll out cheese. Trying to find somebody open. Oh! To Downs. How did he catch that? I don't know. How did the corner not make a play on it either? It was where. It both of them, both of them would catch it. Look at this. Both of them could have caught that ball, but unfortunately for San Jose State, they give it up. So 42-42, pass to the end zone, almost intercepted, and it's now fourth down and goal. We will kick a field goal to take the lead, 45-42. So our it's defense scary in this scenario. I know, but we got to get a stop. We got to get some sacks here, make it a tougher situation for the field goal kicker. Second and ten, Woods pass complete here to Lavelle. Louisville? Lowville. Lovile. Lovell. 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 First and goal. Woods running. Stopped for two. You got a second and goal. What's the plan here on defense? Got to just drop back into coverage. There you go. Let him take the underneath. I'm good with that. Third down and goal. Let's try to hold him to a field goal. Now, I don't like this setup here. I tried to get people in mana line. I tried to get them closer to their coverage, but I didn't like it. Just giving up too much room. Third and goal. Look at the pressure on the right side. Bringing the defensive back for a sack. That's Levante Green Jr. that sets him up for a not an easy field goal. And it kind of lame ducked its way in there. So interesting. But you got to go for two here. Every yes. time. First and ten. Oh, Underhill decided to not go after the sack there. Just freak him out a little bit. Second and ten. Woods. He's going to take off and run for it, but the pressure is there. Forcing a third and 17. That's Brett Robinson with the sack. Look at the pressure here. Guys. Now you, now you can't take a sack it. here. You can't take a sack in that situation. 
I'm just stating the obvious. Today. <laughs> that's my that's my goal. You're gonna booger McFarland it today. Sure. Third and seventeen. Woods. They're gonna drop back for a screen, and it's not there for him. Fumble. Fumble the ball. Arsenal picks it oh up. My God. They they are not in field goal range now. They have to go for this. They have to go. Fourth and twenty nine. Try to get a pass interference. Whatever you do, don't give this up. And Lovell drops it. That's pathetic. He drops it. <laughs> Doesn't even give him a chance. We're lucking out, guys. Third down and nine, and Glover is going to pick up five. Now, this is not a chip shot. And Bosco is out. The kick is up. It is right down the middle. And smooth. We get the W. We have unlocked the state of California. And not only that, now you can get all of your JUCOs. Your one-star JUCOs. Out of California. How many guys are you going to bring into this program who are now 64-65 overall? That's going to help you. It is definitely going to help us. I'm pumped, man. I'm yeah. amped up for That's that. That's big. Now, we have Texas. I'll take Texas. <laughs> and later in this video, we might get Florida, but we'll get to that in a little bit because we are going to start here against Illinois, our home debut against a Power 5 team, a Big 10 team coming into Port Huron. The Web Wonders... We had a, a bit of a bad game there against Michigan. They really took it to us, and it wasn't pretty. But we're going to see if we can turn things around here. A double day. Nice juke on third and six. It's going to be a 13-yard pickup for Huron. So what do you think about this game here? Illinois, we got a good ground game. It's going to be a little more physical than us, but we got to score. Their defense is going to keep up. <laughs> That's not scoring. That is an incredible play. Like At, at this point, you're a little po that... He seemed wide open back there, but that's an insane Flip. play by yeah. the defender. That throw needed to go more towards the pylon. And the first play for Illinois, I talked about physicality. McCray takes it to the house. He's a good running back, you know, and this, this offensive line, it's, it's not. It's Look at that. Bad so, hey, they only need 20 more yards, and they got pretty much a good day's worth of running. Yeah. Yeah. It's the first quarter, too. Yeah. Second and 13. How do you guys feel about not having a rush? Well, oh my god! Oh Hamilton! Into the end zone, but there's a flag! What? What is this? It's gotta be a holding. Yep, there you go. A holding call. I never get holding calls against me. And it's holding Grabowski. Well, go figure that, right? He's holding him. Look at this. I've never even seen this animation. He's before. living up to the name. And but just one more look at the spin. That looks like Barry Sanders, man. Yeah, it didn't count. The oh. Tight end. The tight end did this. Brutal. Now it's third and twenty-three in Fortuna on a once promising drive. He's got to throw one back to Hamilton and Washington with the deflection, so we have to punt. Great. I'm not sure what I think about this game right now. Really, I, I really don't. We've got wide open Bryant. Carroll Bryant going to make the tackle. It's a big 44-yard gain. Third down and one. Bring the pressure, guys. Bring the pressure. Ah. Nicodemus, he's selling. He's selling, as the kids say these days. He's selling. He had it. He had it. McCray for a touchdown. He's I'll selling the bag. 14 to nothing. 14 to nothing. The line. Third and 12. Fortuna. He's got some pressure. And oh, this is just not. I don't know what you guys are doing right now. Fourth and 10. Campbell mode. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, this is close. Just the look of defeat on Dan's face, man. He's the our tight ends defeat. coach. He's the tight ends coach at Lake Huron. Oh, he is. Yeah. After being fired from the Lions. Sure. McCray. Nice, the one. nice tackle by Maidman. Second and goal, McCray, touchdown. Oh, it killing. is 21 to nothing. Yeah, you know, and it's year four, and we're still doing this Campbell stuff, going for it, you know, hardcore, I kind of putting ourselves in a bad position. But I felt like we just we had to. Like, oh. We didn't have a choice. Wyatt Pico. That's the, the best, zone. one of the best throws and the best reads that you've done. Took with, me a little while. Catch Fortuna. Yeah. A little rusty, a little rusty, but Wyatt Pico got loose. Third and two. What a stop! Maybe, oh, no, maybe Harrell with the big tackle. Oh, We're gonna one. get the ball back here, guys. Bear Kiger calls timeout. It, he was kind of surprised. He wasn't even expecting to get the ball back. He's like, "Oh wait, I got timeouts." Here's Breezy. Oh, Breezy you got, a, you got a little bit of a hole there. I thought. No call. Just a little one. Doesn't matter. Wyatt Pico. <laughs> big game. Thirty-five seconds. Fortuna. To Ravensburg for 11. So love, love your receiving core. 23 seconds. Let's do it. Double day. 
end zone. Wow. Touchdown. Wow, there's no one yard line monster. I have not seen the one yard line monster. He's taking sure. the day off. Man, this is like the first time stops. in like five years. Two seconds. Collier, deep bomb. Looks oh, like he's got no. a man. Oh, the drop by. Oh, we didn't get a name there, but man. It was in. It was Brian, it was. I believe. Man. It was there. He had it. Collier this time goes to Scott. Cluche tripped. Harold flipped over. Nickelberry. Can't bring him down. Cluche tackles him into the end zone. You know, at least Cluche had enough, like, motor to get up, get back up, and go get him. Yeah. You know, he could have given up there, but he didn't. Ravensburg with a nice move. He's got it his way to the end zone, to the five. Down at the three-yard line, first and goal. It's a big reception for him, 42 yards. Tank the Stugelmeyer with the touchdown. You guys are back in this thing, 28 to 21. It's starting to make me regret going for it in that situation because now it looks like we have a ball game. But Harrell with a missed tackle. It's enough to Klassen, who's a depth guy. I don't even know what he's doing out there half the time. Oh, man, I freaking hate that I did that. Yeah, I freaking hate that I did that. <laughs> Collier rolling out. Gets brought down by Bloodsaw. Sack, third and 17. So things are looking good here. They're going to run a draw to Alston for a loss. So we're going to hold the Illinois to a field goal. It's only a 10-point game here, guys. Fortuna for Pico. Dude, he's been like your unsung hero right now at receiver. Yeah, barely stepped out of bounds. We get a run for Renner. So they'll set up a first down, second and 10. Cash under pressure flips to Ravensburg. First down. Wow. It's getting a little dicey here for Illinois if you're on the road against this team. But Fortuna... Gets a face full there of Seth Coleman. Third and 13. Fortuna oh. strike the double there. Oh, good throw. That looks like a throw that I would make. Sure, man. It's, you're looking for it. Third man. and one. Tank is stuffed. And we're going to wuss out and kick the field goal here. Back in my Ardmore days, i make that throw. Yeah, you can. 31 24. You guys are coming back. You got to get a stop here. They got a little play action rollout and Bloodsaw. Mm -hmm. Lays the big boomstick on McCray. Third down and seven. Can you get the stop? You absolutely need it, boys. Ah, I was sort of had him. I was in the area. I was waiting for it. Second and three. It's going to be McCray. Cutting. Oh, cutting. My. Unreal. How did he find that lane? That's unreal. I've never seen the CPU do that. That's, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Oh, my God. Third down and inches. Pass completed to double day. Big time gain. Down by 14. Yeah, it's Not... taking too much time on this drive, but we do hit Hamilton yep. with a strike. You're not dead yet. Not dead yet. But we're going to take a page out of the, the new NFL playbook that says go for it when you're down by eight. Why not? Let's go for it. Try it. Ishmael can't catch it. And now we're still down by eight. Need the onside kick, though. That's going to come out a little too hard. Okay. So good thing we didn't recover it or else if I scored a touchdown and lost 38 to 36, I would have punched myself. I, I guess it makes sense. I mean, let's think about it. You're down by eight. Yeah, yeah. go for two. But get this. We get the stop. Maybe that reality is going to come to fruition. You're going to have to go for two. Oh. You're going to have to go for two here again. Yeah, let's right. try it. Fortuna to true love. Now that's lucky because both receivers crossing might have thought that pass was going for both of them. Yeah, time's winding down though. We got 10 seconds. Pico with the catch gets tackled. It'll be six seconds. And keep in mind we got no timeouts. We're just running plays. Get We're off running of no it. huddle. Get, off, plays. Of get off me. Let's see what we got. I just got to go with what they give me. And we're running this play. Six seconds. Come on, Fortuna. Come on, baby. Let's get a double. Try something. Double day incomplete. One second left. Oh, I thought so it was now over. We're going to try to go for the Hail Mary. Get my head down. Pay Raven attention. Ravensburg. Look for Ravensburg. Look Under for pressure. Double day. Oh, and Ravensburg was, he was in the area. But I guess we're never going to have to worry about what might have happened if we lost 38-36. Bear Kegger may have gotten fired. But <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll promote Dan Campbell to be our head coach to oh, take over from tight ends. God. Okay. Southern Michigan versus Navy. Another road game here. You might unlock Maryland, although that's not necessarily it's it's just it's just yeah. it's just more prospects. That's all we need right now. We need more prospects. And Orlando Glover, huge run right there. We've been running the ball effectively. We've been I mean 
we've been scoring some points here in the last couple of seasons. So hopefully this is all going to come together here this year. Our defense is still pretty bad. Heads guys. up. We cannot stop. That's what I'm concerned about with this Navy game. Like, we've not been able to stop the run in many, many seasons. We just can't tackle. I mean, as evident here, the option with it's a Navy... Little, a little bit different animal, though. I mean, if you stay and contain and you... Mind your gaps. Mind your gaps. You can sort of get into position. Oh my god! You can sort of get into a position where you can contain it. Yeah. You know, once they get out in the open space, then yeah, you're definitely going to miss your tackles. But if you keep them in a little box, you can maybe hold your own here. In this game. Hopefully, that's what the game plan is for us. But here's seven to three, and Verlise is going to run to the pylon again. That's another touchdown. Just give no f's, man, about the rollout cheese. I'm you at, have given I'm, into it. At this point, I'm like, this community needs some Southern Michigan wins. We need it so badly. Heath, third down, not going to get the first down. So it is fourth and four. We're going to skip ahead to the half it's 14 to 3 our defense playing sound take a look Whoa. here how in the world did he make that church this is ridiculous and then he gets blocked in the back and no call maybe blocked in the shoulders but that's ridiculous you'll get the replay right here guys walter church it's great man. with the touchdown take one more look at this how in the world did he get that ball off and he got it around that blocker <laughs> and defensive lineman <laughs> through an absolute dart to his pitch man. ridiculous so another fourth down situation here for southern michigan and daniel risby the head coach is saying we have to go for this we are a losing program we have to we have to be aggressive we have to go for this so we do pick it up first down now third down and eight pass completed here to timmy clink who's gonna get some nice moves Heads going oh. a fumble but the recovery by i believe that is joe smith the tight end joe smith there he is again take a look He's actually what number 88, so it might have been David Jones, I believe, was the recover. Either way, big time throw by Bailey Release. Second down and goal, and we're going to go run for it again and throw it in the back of the end zone. Touchdown to Jeremy Downs. That's who it was who recovered the fumble. See that number one. 82. Huh? Uh, that was, that was a hard read out there. Third I, and two. I can throw the ball, man. Burley. Some, sometimes. sometimes. Burley. He's got to beat Robinson, and he almost did. Pushed out of bounds. We've had two games now that we've been up by 11 here late in the game. So San Jose State, we're up 11 late, and now this game. But a touchdown here. Navy's crawling back into it, 21-16. And we've got a possible two-point conversion, but May softly coming up clutch with the shoestring tackle. No two-point conversion for you, he says. Brockenberry, third down and one. First down, flag. Holding on who else but Blake Van Poppen. A wide receiver is going to hold. Dude, on a you full can't, back dive. You can't do it, man. Third down 11. This could be pretty much the game at this point. We don't convert here. Oh, it could be opening the door for Navy, but Blake Van Poppen makes up for it with a big time catch for the first down. Verlies scrambling to his right on second down and six. He's got to stay in bounds and keep running that clock, baby. One timeout left for Navy. Could we unlock the state of Maryland? We unlock two states in a video, guys, for recruiting measures. Looks like we might just be able to do that. But third down and eight, I'm still thinking conservatively. We want to kill the clock. Timmy Clink making some moves. Only going to get a couple. Here comes Johnson. We've been splitting some time between Johnson and Bosco, but he's going to drill it. And Verlise is like, please, God, give us a win. Eight points. Defense has got to hold him here. Third and five, 20 seconds, and that's a huge sack right there. Burley's going to go down. Connor McClanahan with the sack. Fourth and 16. Didn't Great. even make. Yeah. Didn't even give him a chance. Look at it. Wobble, 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 wobble. Great throw. Great throw. <laughs> He's all pissed off. Like, I would be too. Your yeah, you weren't going to get chance. the first down anyway. So. Not a big deal. You got to give yourself a chance, though. Hey, two road wins for Smooth. You might win some games in the MAC this year. And I bit off more than I can chew. You guys saw that total for Florida Atlantic, that overall. I thought they were going to be like an 80. I'm playing like the best team in Conference USA. And I thought I was going <laughs> to have a chance to win the state of Florida. And I doubt this is going to happen, guys. This team is too freaking good for me. Well, I think we lucked out. By the way, this is the first time that Southern Michigan's been on a winning streak. Yeah, all right. 
good winning streak. Just wanted to mention that. Now we can talk about your game. Well, there's not going to be much to, <laughs> to really go over here. I mean, judging by it. <laughs> but look at Bloodsaw with that tackle. He just blew that play up. The torpedo. Hello. Yeah, I mean, he's he's going after the bowling ball. Well, he takes after Dan Campbell. He's going after the kneecaps, man. Yes. He's, he's took that literally. Yeah, cap the kneecaps. Let's go. <laughs> Third and 12. Fortuna dropping back. We held him to a field goal. We're going to have to punt now. That's unfortunate. He got caught in an animation. Receiver just didn't come to the football. That's unfortunate. But, yeah, yeah Kelvin Dean Jr. here, a negative one-yard run. He's going to go down to backfield. Third down to one, and we've got <sighs> Dean Jr. They pick up 10 on second down. Now they get eight on third and one. This is not looking great here. Second and eight. Johnson Jr. Uh -huh. Touchdown. Got chip blocked. Florida Atlantic. It's 10 to nothing. Chop block. Chip block. This is tough. Fourth and two. Campbell mode. Got it. On fourth and two. Man, we were getting desperate early. It's only 10 to nothing. Third and 15. Fortuna. Good read. Finds Dan Smith. Good read. Yards. Third and seven here, Fortuna drop back. Look at wide open Whoa. is Smith. Blown coverage. There's nobody there. Good read by Fortuna to find his man. A little tight spiral there to Dan Smith. You guys are back in the football game. So, hey, ten points in the second quarter. That's not a lot. You guys playing well on defense. Mm. Dare I say it. I'm like the kiss of death for you on, on this stuff here. I don't even watch this game yet. And... I just got to hold my tongue. Yeah, well, it's been kind of like a low possession game. I had a couple long drives. Kind of Ooh. held their offense in check. Who Some is this dude? Johnson Jr.? No, the, number eight. Number eight. Yeah, he's freaking huge. For like, FAU? Yeah, he keeps getting focused on in the cutscenes. Oh, yeah. they, they had him in the pregame, too. Like, I don't know. He's a defensive guy. He's absolutely yeah, freaking he's huge. Good. Yeah, he's big. Uh, you know, we need some help on defense, though. There's no touchdown. I think we switched teams. We switched jerseys. Must have been. I'm Southern Michigan now. <laughs> I can't make a tackle on against the run. Double and day. And you're dropping passes. Dropping passes. Blowing coverage. You're winning. Diving all over the place. Look what? at Bloodsaw. He dove backwards. I've never seen that. What is that? What is that? Oh, my God. This you is such a bad game. You would have never done that. Oh. How, why did he, why did he do I, that? I barely flicked it. And then I press X and then you went back. You must have flicked it up just a little bit. Good news here. Double Day gets the career receptions record at Lake Huron. Nice. I guess that's something to be proud of. Cash Fortuna, touchdown. Can we come back? Are we going to make a comeback here? Look at a brilliant read on the option play. One minute left in the third. Johnson Jr. Chucking one. Class in. We get a stop. Tanner Class in. Good play. Fourth and ten. Campbell mode. Campbell mode. No. <laughs> Picked off. Williams taking it. Oh, he jumps. Oh, are you kidding me? He's going to score. Oh, my God, dude. I've never seen the CPU do things. This is total Campbell mode. Like, right the CPU never jukes. It never hurdles. It never does anything like that. But it did here. And that's amazing. But that sucks. I mean, what are, you, what are you supposed to do? I wouldn't even say it's Campbell mode, honestly. Because you, you mode. had to go for it there. You have to. The but the fact that they scored on it. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, that's Campbell. Right. That's Goff. Mode. What the, the most absolute unlucky thing that would happen, happened. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Let's talk about the box scores here. 38-30 loss, the Illini. You said you rolled out the red carpet for him, and I think you just gifted the game away with a couple of decisions you had in the first half. The first half was bad. The second half, you got a little bit better. Yeah, it was really trending against us. It felt like we had to do something crazy just to have a chance, and then it turned out, that fourth down, the decision may have cost us the ball game, but our offense was good. And you mentioned our wide receivers; they've been pretty productive here in these two games. I mentioned action packed. This game was action packed. 48-45 win. Yeah, it came down to that field goal. He had 540 yards of offense. You got a defensive stop in triple overtime. Tell me how that happens. For at least had 417 with three. Glover kind of took mm -hmm. the reins here. That's his first big game. Actually, any running back that we've had come through here, a lot of guys like Switzer and Clink and Cena. And, I mean, those guys have still been before. here, but no, not like that. Like that average yards per carry, I think that might be the highest that we've ever had. Like yeah. we've never had a guy go over 100 yards. And he had a receiving touchdown, so he was, he was good, but release player of the game. 
Good win for Southern Michigan. Now you can recruit California. The fact that we're on a winning streak. Ohio Western will beat up on Maryland. They are 2-0. They're in the top 10. And we'll take a look at some of the scores. Here. They were we actually losing. Well. They were losing at this point. They are tied at halftime. <laughs> Maryland kicks a field goal. And then Ohio Western scores yeah. 35 on answer points. Yeah, that's nuts. That's nuts right there. So 539, 330 yards for Maryland. So that defense just came through big time. Criswell 451 for two touchdowns and no turnovers. Savage, 10 carries for 43. He's kind of taken a back seat these last couple seasons, but Rondell Quill was the glitch today. <laughs> 15 catches for 261 and two scores. Good Lord. Ridiculous. Guess it all averages out in the end. But Antoine Ball, I, I'm, I'm eyeing that, that player here. Number one receiving recruit in the recruiting class last year. Not a custom guy, just a random CPU dude, just continues to perform. Five for 92. Good win by Ohio Western. Alpina beating Iowa pretty easily here. It was 41 to 10 entering the fourth quarter. Iowa tacking on a couple points there towards the end. Gransky pretty good in this one. 526 for the Alpacas. And Gransky 334. Grimshaw kind of took over the running back spot here. 17 carries for 83. And then Wright, McMath, and Silver Gold, your top receivers. Big one for Alpina, now number three in the nation. Let's talk about week number three now. We got 24-16 win. Southern Michigan on that winning streak for the first time in this series. And the first time we've reached the two wins in our oh. in a season. So that's they crazy. We won two games last year. We did. You beat me in Western Michigan. To finish two dude, and ten. I, I, dude, I so don't as long as you don't go on a nine game losing streak, you will set your school record yeah. in points. Or your progress. Your post. <laughs> your post. I want you guys. Resurrection. I want you guys to look at some statistics right here. Look at the kick return yards and the punt return yards. Oh man! <laughs> nobody kicked. Nobody punted and nobody kicked. Well, you kept Unless them that out was of the like end fair, fair catches and stuff. Yeah, you and... kept them from returning, so that was a big deal. Yeah, big deal yep. right there. Four for seven for Navy's quarterback. Release yeah. one eighty-seven. Clink your top runner. Van Poppen, the top receiver. Spread the love around everybody. We've got Clink, Glover, Smith, Downs, Jones, Van Poppen. Everybody got involved, guys. And, uh, you know, 30 yards apiece. You know, sprinkle it, sprinkle it around a little bit. But Downs, I thought, had a really good game. Van Poppen with that huge catch. We needed that one. The 17-yard, the long gain right there. We needed that after him getting that holding call on him. He had to make up for it. And I think that's what won us the game. And Lake Huron dropping to 0-3. Who saw this coming? Southern Michigan's 2-1. Lake Huron's 0-3. I will admit, I played a tougher schedule than you. So <laughs> I think that's purely a function of the schedule. Okay. Well, we're, we still got a win on you last year. So this is true. We'll see how that goes this year. I'm feeling good about our roster. Yeah, we got outgained here by Florida Atlantic. Only 90 yards passing against us. Fortuna, 31 of 51. But the running game, we have more success running against Illinois, I feel like, than we did here. But... It's just bad, bad stretch of games for Lake Huron. So that's going to do it for week number three. Let's go ahead and take a look at the weeks ahead. We've got week number four. We've got Ball State against Lake Huron. Southern Michigan against Ohio with Bob Jackett. I think we have to show that game. We've only seen a couple of instances with Bob Jackett at quarterback. Yeah. I think we ha we got to show that game. Week five, you got Memphis, Ohio Western, and wow. Lake Huron. Smooth game. Brothers Bowl version four. It's coming up early. Wow. Sure. Usually, yeah, it usually happens a lot later on. Huh? So that's what we're going to look like for next Saturday. So we're going to do week number four, week number five, and then that'll cut it off for next Saturday. If we look ahead to the next Saturday, week six, week seven ish, we got to take a look at what you guys have coming up ahead. We'll probably simulate this week, week number six. We got to watch week seven. And then if we go here to week number eight, we've got a nice matchup against Toledo, Akron, Bowling Green. We're going to show this week because Bowling Green has a custom player, Akron has a couple custom players. So just kind of give you an idea of what's happening in the next couple weeks with uh, Mac Team Builder with this series. So again, in review, next Saturday will be week number four. Week five, we're going to play. That'll be Bowl Week, Brothers Bowl Week. 
Next Saturday after that will be six, seven, and eight with a little bit more simulation involved. So that's the next two Saturdays for you. Yeah, in this game, I'm trying to figure out who has the edge here. I mean, I, I think our offense is better than yours, but you know, how that translates in game, it's always kind of hard to factor that in. So I, I think this is anybody's game here in year number four. I need to win this to avoid drawing even with you. I need to stay, I need to maintain my pace ahead of you guys have the better team you guys have the better team there's no doubt about that I, I think your overall ratings like we talked about in the preseason video when we we're looking at your roster you guys have the better team but do we have the dogs <laughs> do you got that dog in you yeah <laughs> so guys that is gonna do it for the video here today guys leave a like if you like this thing and let us know in the comment section who you think's gonna win brothers bowl number four go smooth go southern michigan go robins we'll see you guys in the next one as always thanks for watching and peace